pressure it's not a tag it's a mindset but with this word comes a lot of problems most industries are designed in such a way that they do not hire freshers and biotech industry is not immune to that that happens in the biotech industry also now not all but some of them do hire but i'll come to that a little later but today's video is all about understanding the problems biotech freshers are facing today as of 2025 and what can we do to solve them problem is nobody's understanding these problems so i thought why not make a video so that we can bring those problems to the surface and of course i'll try to suggest some solutions from my side what is my understanding of the problem and how can it be solved and you all are also most welcome to comment below so that we can create a community of young people who can come together and solve a problem which all of us are facing right so fresher like i said it's not a tag it's a mindset but somehow we all feel that okay i'm a fresher so it's a tag so as soon as possible i have to get rid of this tag but what are the problems you will face as a fresher it's very important to know because if you know the problems which you're going to face you can avoid them and totally avoidable whatever problems i'm going to tell you is totally avoidable so let's let's start by talking about a very interesting fact here as you enter the college you know academia college or university they don't teach you how an industry works right and in fact when you enter the industry also you become a small part of a very large industry right a small dot in the very large industry so it's very difficult to understand how the entire industry works but if you don't understand how the entire industry works it is going to impact you if not today some days later okay so let us understand why exactly the industry exists okay so any and every biotech company in fact any and every company in this world is here to either create product or create services for their customers okay now if those products and services are not exemplary then uh, customers will complain and they will not buy and the company will shut down right so that is why the company needs employees right which is going to be you now why the company doesn't want to hire a fresher rather uh, wants a experience is multiple reasons but one of them is because they fear that my client might get angry if this guy who has no experience goes and you know deals with it so that's small small problem but yeah that's one of the problem so basically it's fear but on the top of it there is one more thing every company wants to create a better version of the existing product which they have today right so having said that they want to improve the efficiency of uh, production or formulation or research they want to improve the efficiency right and they feel that freshers are going to slow us down right freshers are not going to be efficient so all this stigma you know has to be removed right and we'll talk about that so nobody tells you all this in college nobody tells you in the university when you're trying to get into a industry also nobody is telling you that right now most important aim of any company in the industry whether it is biotech pharma mechanical any anywhere in the world is to earn profit okay if they have to earn profit then they have to hire someone who can do things faster who can handle things better and who can do it in a perfect manner efficient manner right so if you are that person you are getting hired so that is where you know this problem goes away if you are a fresher even if you are still a fresher if you have solved these problems that goes away now having said that we keep uh, telling people right there is a, a gap between academia and industry what is the gap the gap is academia is not telling you that the industry is profit driven as simple as that industry wants money they wants to grow they want to charge more to the client they cannot charge more to the client if the product is not good right so they have to keep improving on the product they have to keep reducing the price maybe and at the same time improve the efficiency so that other clients also come to this company right so you have to contribute there that this profit mindset is not there in freshers right so you have to understand that the company exists because they want to earn profit if you can contribute in that okay you're going to get hired that's the first thing you should know now the second would be because biotech industry is highly conceptual driven hi highly practical driven right problem is our academia has not trained us like that right 
and academy are trained us only for one role which is research and development like you had practicals right did they teach you clinical research global regulatory affairs or clinical data management all these things were not taught right but these kind of jobs are also there but you have a understanding of only r and d so you will apply only r and d jobs and then r and d is already saturated so you will not get it right so theoretical focus is there outdated focus is there in academy and this is not their fault see we are living in the inter- internet era we are right here so it is our responsibility to update us nobody is going to come and say that okay take this spoon feeding nothing will happen we have to do it right so the traditional thinking has to go away right you are a instagram gen z generation right so stop waiting for someone else to give you a solution you have to go grab that solution right and i will tell you about that also right so theoretical focus versus practical training so now practical training also people think okay i have to go in a lab and stand and work first 3 years of your life when you will get into the industry they will not give you complicated instruments to handle they'll ask you to do data analysis they'll ask you to uh, do the assistance job they'll ask you to do the record keeping job so first 3 years is going to be a lot of learning curve of course you'll watch them doing but you won't be doing right so this thing you have to know that data analysis is even more important than wet lab hands on training right then coming to the industry relevant skills what is happening today see the colleges are not training you on gc lc ms uh, bioinformatics artificial intelligence machine learning data science these things are not taught but industry wants it now i i was uh, sitting with the vice president of iqvia and he tells me this that we are now designing ai for regulatory affairs right uh, then the other day uh, i was sitting with dotmatics the one of the uh, product engineers and uh, vice president of Doc- dotmatics and he says we sold our company to siemens at for 5.1 billion dollars and what we did is we designed uh, a lot of ai driven products right so what's happening today they all are they, these guys are making top end products they can't hire freshers if they're not trained right but at the same time you have a leverage it's just like a basketball game if you think that with taller in height can put the ball in the basket faster you're wrong if you if you're shorter you can move faster right so you can do things faster so if your experience is less that me that also means that other people who have experience cannot course correct suddenly a molecular biology guy cannot go and learn bioinformatics in ai it will take a lot of time you have learning ability they don't have right so you can do that right now the third problem which most freshers will face so first problem which i told you is of course lack of understanding of how industry works profit driven the second problem is of course industry oriented techniques like gclcms and the third would be interdisciplinary knowledge now who told you that there is three uh, you know barriers like physics chemistry biology that's not true right there is no boundary in between all the three right so interdisciplinary subjects you have to learn bioinformatics computational biology these are in demand the so industry demands professionals with cross functional skills interdisciplinary inter domain skills so you could be a biotech guy but you have a very very good understanding of chemistry also right so these things analytical chemistry data analysis of uh, analytical chemistry all of that you should have so industry is expecting something else academia is giving something else so do you think they can hand check they cannot right so that does that mean because they have a disconnect you should be unemployed that's not right correct according to me the employment market challenges for freshers is only because we are not telling all these problems to the freshers that these are the problems you will face when you start job hunting correct so if that's the case the harsh reality is fresh graduates are not aware and we see that biotech industry from 10 billion in uh, last 10 years 10 billion to 160 billion now so that's like 150 billion increase in the size of the industry still they are not hiring freshers what's wrong with them there's nothing wrong just that people are changing jobs in between the companies after gaining experience but the 90% of them are easily getting jobs the remaining 10% is for freshers right so how can someone get into entry level jobs that's a, that's the million dollar question right so first we have to understand the company's hiring preferences now if you look at the trend you will realize that big companies will never hire freshers even if they hire that will be for a small role research associate research assistant you won't get enough exposure in that so the problem is if you don't get exposure you stay stuck at research assistant post for for a very very long time right 
Instead, analyze those companies which are growing fast. Actually, we have posted a list already on Biotechnica recently, right? So take that, right? Analyze which companies, which startups are hiring freshers and what is the skill set they require. And you will find most of those skill sets available as a training program on Biotechnica. You can choose us or anyone, no problem. But the experience premium which you can get with by joining these startups is higher, right? And how do you do that? Do a internship. So there are two golden words which you should remember. It should hit your mind right now. One is project, one is internship, okay? Either do a project or internship or both, right? And try to publish a paper, right? And the paper should be relevant to the company which you are targeting, right? And then you apply. Send a mail to CEO and say that, hey, I've done this, hire me. He'll do that, right? CEOs like me, we are always hunting for the right talent. We don't want to stop. So even if you are a fresher, I won't mind, I'll take you. So what's happening here, experience premium, right? And that will come only with the startups. Now, one more problem you will face as a fresher is, the industry will say, I don't have time to train this guy, okay? I can instead, if instead of uh, spending, uh, you know, 10,000 rupees on this guy training or say 20,000 rupees training, and then I have to again see if he's doing properly or not, I'll hire someone who has experience, right? I'll tell you, I, right now, we have a contract with one of the biotech companies. It's a German biotech company. They're starting in uh, India. And they have said that the salary is 25 lakh rupees, okay, per annum. But they want somebody who has five years experience. Five years experience, 25 lakh rupees per annum. And we are hunting our team is hunting and we'll uh, fulfill that and of course we'll be paid because we place that guy but imagine why that is happening because that guy says i don't have time to train somebody for this right if i get experience i'm ready to pay 25 lakhs so how do you become that experience guy right so it's a chicken and an egg game so that is where the risk aversion is there the high financial cost of training and the high cost of headache that whether this guy is performing after the training or not is too much so they don't want to get in that. Instead, what you do is you can do an internship at Biotechnica or projects at Biotechnica. Both are available, either or both. Even the third process, if you don't have the training, you can always join the training also. Any of these three, Biotechnica CRO has. You can join, you can train yourself and then launch yourself into the industry. That is better. But again, the salary expectation and location expectation, that is something which nobody's talking about. See, fresh graduates like you, you are thinking that, see, I spent 10 lakh rupees in my degree, so I should get uh, at least uh, 50,000 rupees salary. And you're not wrong, right? But if you want a 50,000 rupees salary, right, you have to, you cannot get into R&D. You have to get into those fields which is less crowded. Now, what are those fields? I've 100 times told you to, if you've not watched my previous videos, I can tell you here also. Artificial intelligence, data analysis, bioinformatics, um, GCL, CMS, global regulatory affairs, clinical data management, clinical research, medical writing, all this has less crowd, you can easily get in. So that is where, now if you get into, uh, like we pl placed uh, 10 students of Biotechnica in uh, Premier Research, it's a US based uh, clinical research company, all of them got 50,000 rupees salary. Then another company, it's a startup in Varanasi, you will not believe it, it is an incubated in BHU Varanasi. They gave 60,000 salary to freshers, right? So how exactly this is happening? Is because they are well-trained, right? So if you are if you are well-trained with Biotechnica's help, you can easily get in there. So the starting salary will some, somewhere will be 35,000 rupees to 60,000 rupees. This is the starting salary for a master's, okay? The moment we have two years experience, of course, it goes to six to nine lakhs per annum. Then, of course, when you're senior, it starts at, uh, you know, 10 lakhs, it goes up to 30 lakhs per annum. So this is where it comes. Now, another problem which fresher, as a fresher you will face, nobody's talking about is mental health. The, the toll on this will be huge. Like, you know, you knock 100 doors and then all, all the doors don't open up. Or rather, you feel that way because you have applied in 100 companies virtually, right? You send a mail. Sending a mail, anybody can do. So you won't get a job by sending a mail, right? You have to understand that you're right now trying, you're in the valley of disappointment. So even if you sent a cold email to 100 companies, they will not hire you. So then what do you do? You stop doing that also. You abandon that trying also. My message to you is don't stop trying, okay? Rather take help of experts. Take help of people who are experts, who have worked in the industry. I'll tell you, uh, one of our regulatory affairs trainer right now, she, was the vice president of a very big multinational company in pharma in India. And she le left that job because she wanted to 
relax and be with her family. She had earned enough money and then she said, okay, let me join Biotechnica. Okay. Her name is Dr. Ganeshan. So she is here, right? So people like her can train you. People like her will give you a lot of insights, right? So specific skills has to be learned. Skill deficiency is one of the problems. And then when you sit in the interview, you don't know what to say because nobody told you what to say, right? The professors themselves didn't know. So that is why they were in the academy and not in the industry, by the way. So with due respect to them. So technical skills, PCR, cell culture, chromatography, bioinformatics, AIML, GCL, CMS, instrument handling, HPLC, GC, ELISA, equipment operation, the regulatory knowledge, good manufacturing practices, good lab practices, compliance, data analysis, statistical modeling, report writing, documentation, and communication skills, written, verbal, project management skills, teamwork skills, all of that. You need to be ready. See, this is 2025. This is not 2008 that people will hire you and then they'll train you. That was back then. Today, people want 100% finished products. Right. So if you're a fresher, two golden words, do a project, okay, or internship or both. If both are, you're not getting, take a training, then project and internship and all three, you'll find in Biotechnica. Hundreds of companies will post their job opportunities, even we will post. Apart from that, you can directly take our training and placement services. Now, one important thing you have to know is you will have to invest. What you invested in academia is not going to help, right? Second is gain practical experience with Biotechnica, build a professional network, get referrals. Of course, we will do that for you. And then develop interdisciplinary skills, biotechnology com complied with data science, business analytics skills and all of that. Industry will be ready to welcome you if you have enhanced understanding of how the industry operates and who is who of the industry, okay? You have to be very, very clear with what you want in life because once you get into one industry, you cannot change. Let's say you got into clinical research, now you have to be in clinical research, right? So these are small things nobody tells you and these are the problems you will face. The biggest problem will be mental health because when you are knocking 100 doors, none of them is opening. But my suggestion to you is don't give up, keep trying and let me know in the comment section what more you want and I will address that. All the best.